guys, Cars Across Texas here today, and today you join me at a meet that I haven't been to in a very, very long time. This is Cars and Coffee's <laughs> Sunday Morning Motor Club something, I don't know, but there's always cool cars that come here. I see pictures of it all the time. Right here, I'm looking at some of the rarest cars in the world. Uh, so, let's jump right into it. I don't, I've been told there's some supercar sins here as well, so I don't know. We'll see what we get into. I don't know if there's going to be a separate video or a, a video together with the meet we're going to right after this, but it's going to be an action packed day of cars. It's absolutely beautiful outside, but let's get right into the action. Uh, we jump right into the bulk of things here. We got the 720S GT3 car here. Full blown race car. We got the big old wing out back. This thing is super sick. He's uh, done some racing, won some, uh, won some races. We got the V10, the best sounding car ever made right here in the Lexus LFA. Looking like an angry anime character. I love these cars, man. I love LFAs. So, brought in from Mexico, we have the 1 of 88 Aston Martin Vantage V12 Speedster here. These actually were not sold in the US. And uh, that's a hint it's brought in from Mexico. So, a car I've never seen before, probably won't ever see again. Pretty cool. You know, full blown race car. Kind of Sterling Moss style here. We've got the uh, tiny little windshields there, the carbon fiber bucket seats. Even if it still looks like it's got some like luxury touches inside for being a race car. We got another Maserati MC20. This thing is not the biggest space for a car show, though. I mean, it's kind of kind of jam packed. We've got some old thing over here. We got the uh, DK Goblin here. A couple cars from the Indigo Auto Group and the Cullinan, the Eurus over here. Keep on going down the line with the new SL. A very nice 570 Spider. Matte black ears with brown seats. That's a baller spec. Next up to him, we have a beautiful 720S that I know Ali is loving because of the color. And then we go on to the next. A pretty crazy looking uh, STL, matte black on matte green. Not matte green, what am I talking about? This is a very high metallic flake green. This thing is beautiful. Next up we have a absolutely amazingly specced Azuro California Ferrari F12. Looking good in like the baby blue sort of color. Got a couple NSXs over here, a regular NSX and a Type S NSX. We are kind of speeding through this because uh, I, we got here late, so. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's see what we got. We got the big wing, full-blown race car, track attack, time attack looking Porsche here with all the aero bits and everything and a massive wing out back. And we also got a beautiful spec STO. This spec is freaking crazy. We'll take a look at this in just a second. So one thing I do love about the STOs is like all the owners of the STOs just went like crazy with the specs. Like there is some wild color combos on these cards out there and this is uh, no stranger it looks like verde artemis over just like rosso mars with white pinstriping carbon fiber literally everywhere the splitter the little, little hood inserts are carbon fiber got the black wheels red center locks red interior pieces everywhere in here this thing is crazy even the hood scoop is red accented down and then the little shark fin is the white trim uh to add on to what goes going on in the front wild spec and we got the uh huracan to match the uh, old camaro a matte black performante with green accents looking nice. And we keep on going down the line. We'll get some nice stuff. We got a Nardo Gray Gen 5 Viper ACR. Oh my god, you boys know. I love, I love so much. This thing is absolutely perfect in every last detail. You got the hood pop with the clamshell opening up this way. Let's see what's going on with the hood. He's got some, some stuff done. Just a good old look at a big old American V10. Can't go wrong with that. Next to him, we also got the snakeskin green Gen 4 Viper with the big old wing out back. Looking good. Mm, some good stuff here. Full red interior on the 720S. I actually haven't seen that before. Nice. And then a classic Porsche. Looks like a GT2 from back in the day. Is it? Some sort of... What? Oh, Mike got a new crazy wrap on the Valara vet. Almost didn't even recognize it. That's crazy how much this changes with a new wrap. And we got... Batman's Mercy Lago over here. Looking good. We got Ali's next mom mobile here, the Aston Martin DBX 707. I'm pretty sure this is the fastest uh, SUV right now. I'm not sure though, I think. We got a McLaren who's gone for the spooky vibes out here. Homie's got the teeth down there. Ah. <laughs> that looks funny from this angle. I think it's sounding good. Sounds like he's got an exhaust in the 600 LT. Yeah. 
definitely not stuck. <laughs> All them teeth on the front of the Damn. <laughs> nice. That thing is sick. Listen to all that turbo noise, bro. We got the old Oldsmobile here looking good. Yellow on yellow. Next to him, a very uh, preserved, patinaed out Chevy looking good. Over here, we got a 570, the Project Gamma R8, and a pretty crazy color on the uh, GT4 RS. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Is PTS mint green? Mm. We got the C7Z06 here with the full ZR1 body kit on it. Looking good, except the hood. Doesn't have the hood. The one thing missing. I do love me a rapid blue Z01. That's always a nice look. Next to him, we got the Callaway. Um, I think this is the Callaway Sledgehammer. I forget, but it's a C4 ZR1 done by Callaway. I don't, I think it's one of one. It might be like one of five. It's super rare and it's really cool to see. He does come out to all the Woodlands car shows. He's been a bit one of 12. There we go. It's a, is it the Callaway Sledgehammer? But which one is this one? Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So one of 12, Callaway C4 ZR1. Mm. We gotta get the puppies. There of course is an Aston Martin here, but what I'm more, more intrigued with is the Dalgos. Hello, my friend. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, hello. <laughs> you smell my pup? <laughs> adorable. You do see me a little intercooler behind the grill of this F-150 here. Never race a, a, a truck in Houston. Definitely boosted. We got the bagged C8 Corvette rolling out. Some pretty crazy looking wheels. The Corsa exhaust is humming. We do got the Pizarro Evo. Look. There we go. Got the 454 Chevelle roaring to life. Nice. Over here we do have lots of uh, Euro cards that I've just kind of skipped over, but I do like this M2 on the gold wheels next to the uh, turbo uh, Porsche. Over here we got the actual truck from Transformers, the Ironhide truck. We got an Aventador SV Roadster just passing on by over down yonder. But of course this truck is just unreasonably big. Ironhide is actually from the movie. Keep on going down the line though. We got another McLaren. We got a racing inspired C7 Z06. Little skyline down here, as well as a uh, R8 and a wide body Mercedes SL. I don't think this is like a legit black series or anything like that, but it's got a, a crazy looking wrap, a wide body kit and some crazy wheels. Oh, it is, a, it's a, a Teef. Those wheels are insane. NSX Type S rolling out, followed by the Maserati MC20. This color's sick on the Mercy Lago here. Damn, this thing is nice. I've never seen this color before. Orange brakes, orange stitching inside. It is not a manual, but still looks incredible. Still got the plastic wrap on the floor too. I wonder how many miles this thing has. The SEO's rolling out as well though. SEO! Maybe these guys are right. Maybe we go back here. I don't know, but there's people leaving down that way. Alright, let's place your wagers. What do you think it is? You, you know when something's about to leave because the flood comes the floodgates open and all the little chillins come running Oh, he went in the garage There we go
Here you go. Here we go. Effelson! <laughs> Here we go. For the culture. <laughs> That burble tune on the classic Jag. <laughs> we got a Viper. That's a man right there. We got Ironhide the Transformer rolling out. <laughs> What's that dude? How are you? <laughs> we got Ironhide the GMC truck pulling out. All right behind them. Uh oh. I don't even remember. Have I seen one of these? I don't know. New Golf GTI. Actually, looks pretty good, man. Oh, Mopar sends it. Let's get him, brother. <laughs> yeah. The cops are uh, going after the Mopars here. Doesn't matter if a McLaren does it. But if your credit score is under a 600, we're coming for you. D3 Motorsports and his manual R8. You 
bought this from Auto Nation but didn't buy it from me. <laughs> Big L. He took one for the team! <laughs> you lost him, buddy! <laughs> Brother, what the hell did that just watch? <laughs> Wait, he doesn't get pulled over! <laughs> Oh, here's another one. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Bray, like, you need to go stop his ass. <laughs> Subaru, dumbass. Yeah. yeah, go get his ass. Go. <laughs> dumbass. Yeah. Down there, silent. <laughs> it's a race car. Go fast, brother. Bruh. Sounds good too. You going after the Mercedes? He turned! He turned! He turned! That thing sounded really good. And the cop thought so too. Turn! 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 What the fuck? Oh, he didn't turn! He didn't turn! We're here to do a little profit making off the good people of this car show. <laughs> that thing is so sick. <laughs> All right, boys, it's time for us to head out. We are on our way to our next car meet, which is the Twin Peaks meet, the Houston Performance Driving Event. I love that meet. It's going to be a good one. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Leave me a like and a comment. Let me know what your favorite car was in today's video in the comments below. And uh, remember, I sell cars. If you're in the market for anything, it's uh, basically my own sponsorship for the video. It's how I uh, will get the next race car, boys. So hit me up if you're in the market for a vehicle. Leave me some likes, comments, share it with the boys, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you next one. Peace.